Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Full Craft on the Full Craft Modded Server. And today, if you didn't see last episode, which uh, by the views on the video, it seems like most people didn't see the video. I don't know, maybe people just aren't interested in seeing me build a Ferris wheel. Who even knows? But that doesn't matter because what we're going to be doing today is making this thing look a lot better better because as a lot of people pointed out even though I mentioned that I'm pretty sure several times in the video or at least that's what I was thinking during the whole of the video is that yes it is too clean and tidy this is meant to be a, uh, a wasteland biome where everything is overgrown and rustic and yes this thing isn't looking too rustic at all now I'm not too worried about the bright yellow I feel like you know the paintwork is just generally quite good but yes we'll be adding leaves we'll be adding a little bit of rust here and there We'll try and figure out a way of adding rust. I don't know how to do that. I don't know if there's like a specific rust block. I guess I could add some factory blocks. Oh, you know what? What is that? Ty how do I make Tyrian? How do I make this? How do I make this thing? <gasps> well, there you go. We've figured it out right now. I'm going to be making some of that rust. Well, that is quite dark in colour, which means I guess it will go really, really well on the red. But I don't know how well that will kind of show up on here without being too much. I feel like I just needed like a dirty white block of some kind. So if I look up white, I guess we could kind of use, no, they got like too much texture. Could use some iridescent dirt. What on earth is iridescent dirt when it's her home? I don't know. But we'll soon figure out what it is we need to add to this place. But look at it. I think it's looking super, super great. And actually looking at that, I've just come up with an idea for a whole different base idea, but that's not going to be happening, so hopefully that sticks in my brain for the next time I do modded Minecraft and a different series perhaps. Okay, so I've covered this all in these large planks. If I go into this and put that in there, it's this one here I've been using. And they are pointing the wrong way. I don't really want them pointing that way. I guess there might have been one that points... No, it doesn't really matter. I think they're going to point that way. That'll be fine. But yeah, that looks better already. It looks like it's kind of actually got a thing that it's actually standing on. I don't really like, however, the fact that it's very kind of in the floor. So, oh, look, I've literally had exactly the right amount of these, which is kind of crazy. Oh, no, they were in there. They were in there. Ignore me. I'm being silly. Uh, but yeah, I do kind of want some sort of, like, I do need some sort of stair. I don't know whether or not I can just chisel this out and make some sort of, like... Well, I guess I need to do something like this where it's not actually attached, because otherwise... Okay, mistakes were made. I need to go get a bit bag by the looks. Oopsie. Huzzah, this is the way to do it. Look at that. That looks like a proper stair that you would have at one of these things. Cool, so that is good. We will put some, like, uh, railings on this and things, and we'll probably put some sort of railing around here as well. I'm thinking one of them kind of... Uh, a grey railing, so maybe let's go with... Have I got like a metal... I don't know, I need some sort of like grey... That kind of colour grey, and then make like pipes that come up and kind of... Uh, yeah, very very basic railings, that's what my next plan is. And then we need to figure out what's going on in the front. Now, cues... Oh, usually there's like an entrance and an exit for this kind of thing. Would I, would I have the exit at the back? Maybe. Do you reckon that will work better? I don't even know. One thing I do really like though is that what I did, I don't know if I showed you guys this, but look, I've got the door, little, the little door hatch thing open there and it's closed on all the rest of them. I, I made sure it's exactly the right length so that when it was closed it would be, uh, it would be like the rest of them. Oh, I don't know. Little touches like that I just love. Look, you can actually walk into it and everything. It's so perfect. It's like the perfect size. Wait, am I too big? No, this is like the perfect size. Dude, my scaling on this one, I'm going to give myself that. The scaling on this Ferris wheel is pretty snazzy. But, um, yeah, we need to figure out that. So I guess when I'm making the railings, I'll figure out what on earth is going on with the queue. Maybe some red ropes, but I think they're going to be a lot more difficult than anything else to make. So whilst using, uh, what am I using right here? Polished stone. I've worked out there's a bit of a bug with it. I was trying to, you know, make sure this was correct. And I thought, oh yeah, I'll go underneath. But look, the, the bottom of the block is uh, invisible. <laughs> Uh, that's not gonna be a problem, is it? Uh, I guess I'll build them, I'll build the railings and then we'll find out. We can always easily swap things, we can always replace, uh, which could be handy. I think I might need to do that. That's a bit of a weird, uh, weird bug. Oh yeah, look at that! Oh man, that took a lot of copy and pasting, but it does all line up. Might not be symmetrical, but hey, that's, you're not really gonna be able to 
go along and like count all the pixels and everything. But it does line up here, which is cool. Now I want to uh, do the more detailed part of this, because yes, I know this hasn't been super detailed so far. I need to build a sort of box. You know the box that they control the ride from? I need to build one of them. I'm thinking it will go right here, because it needs to be close enough. I also might want to build like a generator or something. I don't know if that's going too far. Things like that wouldn't be... I don't know, would that still exist? Uh, at this point, it would probably just have loads of moss over it, so I guess it doesn't matter how detailed it is built. But uh, yeah, uh, as I say, this hasn't got any rust or anything on it either. I'm going to literally build it all clean and tidy, and hopefully at the end we'll have enough time to add the leaves and kind of do the rust, and then if I need to add any more, I can add that in live stream. But yes, uh, I think this is going to be the en exit and the entrance over the front, so what I might do is put a... Because we're in modern Minecraft, I can go down the middle of a block if I want and build a fence there. So we'll have the entrance on this side, which is next to the box, which will also be the ticket office place. Um, so they'll line up, they'll kind of get the ticket, have the guy in there controlling stuff as well, and they'll get on, and then when they get off, they will get off this side and there won't be a rope or anything, they'll just be able to walk off and uh, have a good day. But yeah, it's looking pretty good. It's looking definitely, definitely more like a Ferris wheel every single time I add something. Perfect. Every time I go to record, it's night time. Actually, you know what? I could probably sleep. Let's look at this a day. That'd be way better. So here we are, daytime, and yes, I know the blocks are terrible. I had to change it for the andesite, which I used up there. This I'm going to keep with the polished stone, because you can't actually physically see underneath it unless you're below the area, which I guess if you're down here, you can kind of see. No, it's not really. It's not really the biggest issue. I can change that if I want to in the future, though which will be fine. But yeah, here I can actually now see the bottom of the blocks, which is great. But yeah, sound sight doesn't work, but I just needed something where I could just like get my idea down. And um, yeah, this is where the doorway is. We've got the doorway in here. Uh, I've, I've brought it off the floor by, by a pixel, which I think looks really, really nice. Nice touch there. We've got the kind of, uh, whatever you'd call these, this bit. And this will be window. That will be window. That one will be probably not window. Wait, would they be windows all the way around? Maybe not. Maybe they'd have like wooden panels. I haven't decided yet if I want to make this out of wood or not, but if it was wood it would be a lot more rotten than it l would be if it was made of anything else. So that's the task I've got to uh, I've got to figure out. Also this is going to be uh, the andesite, wait no, this, oh no wait, this has to be the the polished stone, I think I got rid of all of it, but okay, well that has to be polished stone, so let me quickly replace that there. And yeah, this will basically be the, if I can build it properly, uh, no, I'm, I'm on the replace, I'm on the replace, that doesn't work, that doesn't work. So what I need to do is build this up, like so, and then that'll be the centre uh, pylon, I guess, uh, where you will kind of be like, oh wait, that's the right height, is that the right height? Three tall, three tall, there you go. Um, so then we'll have the bar coming down in the centre here, but yeah, I need to do that as well. So, um... Yeah, I need to figure out the better material. That'll take a bit of time. So what I'm going to do instead is go grab some food, go grab a cup of tea, and then come back and hopefully have come up with a good idea for this. Although apparently I have made a mistake over this side. So looks like I've also got things to fix and also not use the wrong material. That would be a bad idea. So after a whole bunch of experimenting, I have finally figured out exactly what I want to be using for this. Now, what I've used is this block here, the Tyrian, uh, in this, uh, I don't even know what it's called, let's see, let's have a quick look what it's called. I've been using the one with the roots, uh, which is basically kind of like a, an almost circuit board style tile. Um, we also have been using the dent, which is what I've been using now. That's what I've got on me right now. What I've been doing is over these parts, which are just, because I just replaced it all with the roots, uh, what I've been doing is selecting parts and just kind of getting rid of that pattern almost and making it kind of patchy, but getting rid of the pattern basically. Because uh, you can see kind of it looks a bit too... It kind of looks a little bit kind of Egyptian almost, or, or some kind of, yeah, some kind of pattern that wouldn't be, you know, this wouldn't be the correct place for it, but it's the perfect colour. So what I've been doing is uh, mixing in this, kind of breaking up the pattern a little bit, it'll add kind of darker and lighter spots, and kind of, it adds these kind of just plain patches, which uh, I think work really, really nice. So what I've been doing is that, and then I've been using the, the, the rust one. And, and and this one here, I've, I've decided that it needs to be 
um, open. What might be nice though is to put a strip of metal inside it. I wonder if I could do that with the andesite. If I broke this open enough that um, by left clicking and I figured out where the middle of this would be, which would be about there, right? Make it look like it's broken and there's like a... It's opened up to the um, the metal inside because it's sort of... I don't know, would this have metal? I don't know. I don't think that quite makes sense, but... Oh, it's come through the back side, which is a problem though. Don't want that. Uh, we'll cover that back up again. Um, and hopefully that will work. Yeah, that looks perfect. I don't know why it went through all the way, but yeah. I think that looks really, really good. Once we do that to all of it, I will start maybe bringing in some of the darker colours to this. I don't want them to be the same colour. I don't want them to be dark colour. We'll add a light in here as well. That'd be really... Oh, that look, it's going to look so good at night. Uh, I was just reading the comments back and someone wrote... Oh, sorry, I didn't remember your name. Um, there's too many comments on things. It's crazy. You guys are amazing. Um, but it's very, very difficult to find them again. Um, someone mentioned that I should uh, make one of the carriages uh, fall off and have like one on the floor uh, there because it's obviously abandoned and therefore you know after a while things will get rusty and therefore fall off so yeah I think that'll be uh, that'll be a good idea but basically I'm trying to find the rusty versions of each block and each color scheme I found it for this dark color but I think the rest need like a, a, a lighter a lighter color scheme otherwise it's all gonna end up dark and gray like this Okay, I've just made the best discovery. Look at that! Oh, that looks so good up there! Okay, I was worried about what to put up here. Because I wanted, like, sort of panels uh, of sorts. Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> Look, guys, I've even done the glass. I've broken it all up. Oh! Oh, it's so good! It's so good! It's so very good. I mean, it's as good as I can do. I mean, it could be better, hey. But for now, I'm, I'm pretty happy. For now, I'm very, very happy indeed. Uh, I think I made that one there a little bit too wide. Did I make that? Yeah, I made that too wide. That's not good. Don't want to do that. Oh, wait, what happened here? Okay, yeah, we're good. Uh, I need to make it on this block here, which is why... Yeah, there we go. That's much better. Sometimes it's very, very difficult to see. But yeah, oh, look at it. It looks like it's kind of been burnt a little bit. Or, or it's kind of just uh, deteriorate from this angle. Oh, it looks good. I don't know if I want to put any holes in that. It's just not, there's not even any need, really. I think all I want to do now is I could I could dirty it up a bit and put a little bit of a... No, that's not <laughs> that's not a replace. Because this is the right colour, actually, for, like, uh, kind of dirty stone kind of blocks. Yeah, that sort of works. We can we can add that in places just, just here and there rather than break it all up because that will be the, the tougher material, perhaps. Um, oh, hello. Why did that make a hole? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't left click. Wait. Oh, it's changed. Oh, it's because I only got one block. Okay, that's fine. Have a little couple dots up there. I don't like that. I don't like how it just randomly <laughs> there it goes to there. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. What? Oh, it's because oh, it's on replace. Dang it. Okay, you can just sit there. Random one block. There you go. I'm very happy with that. I think that looks good. Uh, done a little bit of rust and stuff here. Broken up some bits here and there. Haven't done it super amount, uh, a crazy amount. I, I want to keep it very subtle. Uh, and well, I say subtle. This isn't too super subtle. I do want to dirty up the yellow a little bit because if I can find something to dirty up that yellow, it can be the, the 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 thing to dirty up these. But I do need to pick a couple of these that need to be broken up a little bit or. I don't know if I can actually physically make them look like they're falling apart. Maybe kind of the bottom has fallen off and is, is sideways or hanging, hanging from one of these or something. I don't, I don't know if I can actually physically do that. Uh, someone said to remove one, and that's that's probably quite easy. I think I could, I could remove this one and put it down there somewhere. I wonder how easy that would be. Um, let's let's give it a shot, shall we? Uh, if I put it, no, I don't want, I don't want to quite line it up. I want it to fall in at an angle, sort of thing. Uh, oh, you know what? That, that kind of thing could work. Yeah, if, if I could, like, chop it in half. And then, like, have half of it down there. And I don't, I really don't know. This is, this is difficult, guys, I'm going to be honest. I'm having a bit of difficulty with, uh, making this dirty. I thought, I thought it was actually harder to make it pristine. But actually, I feel like once I've done that, now I'm just like, oh, no. I was I was complaining too much about how difficult the first part was, let alone let alone this part, which is actually kind of difficult. But I think it's just more that it takes a lot of time to kind of get it right. You don't want to go too over the top. Uh, this thing hasn't got a roof. I don't think I'm going to add a roof to it. I think I'll leave it open, open air perhaps. Um, 
Don't know if I want to put anything inside it either. I don't think anything would be inside it. I was going to make the whole, like... Uh, I don't know. You know what I could do, actually, though? If I've got some andesite on me, I don't know how much I've actually got. I've only got 12. Oh. They're not... They're not the things I want. I want these ones. The bits. Uh, I need some sort of, like, table sort of thing. Um, where, like, the money and the coins and stuff would be put on right there. Or the controls would be or whatever. Maybe I'll put some controls on this and maybe some wires or something. Just to sort of add something to it. Yeah, maybe, maybe I'll do that and then it along the back here. Yeah. Because then there are there are holes, but, you know, there is actually something above the holes up t in front. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm, I'm, <laughs> ideas are... Ideas are rolling in my head right now, and I'm just like, oh, I don't know if I can pull them off, but hopefully by the end of this episode we'll have something that looks just at least better. At least better than it has done already. Pretty happy with this so far, just need to you know, add a few more things here and there, and uh, I think we should start working on that, though, and start working on this bigger bigger thing. And I definitely, definitely want to bring in leaves first, because if I can get leaves first, then at least we get the feel of what's going to happen, and then we start adding rust and things like that, but don't know how much else I can destroy, I don't really want to destroy the actual circle, that'd be pretty tough, I think carriages are the weaker part of this thing, and we definitely can't break up this too much either, because otherwise the whole thing, it wouldn't be very likely it was still standing, to be honest, and there's no way I'm bringing this down and making it look like it's laying on the floor, because that would just be ridiculous. Um, I've got a really weird bug with glowstone, why? Um... I mean, it actually lights it up, but it's invisible. Great. That's really, really handy. Okay, well, no uh, no using the neon one then. That one seems completely broken. Rip. Well, I've got an idea for this thing. What I'm thinking is if I had a corner fall off, and that being the reason why it fell off. Now, what I can do is maybe copy that with the... What is, what is this one called? The mirror one? I wonder if it will mirror it upside down. I haven't tried that yet. Please be upside down. Oh, it is upside down. Uh, so if I put it, like, facing it forward a little bit. Oh, I don't have enough. I don't think I have enough of these blocks yet. So let me quickly grab a couple of those. I probably need one. So that's going to go explode everywhere. Of course it is. Of course it is. <laughs> no, don't I have enough of anything else? I got. Surely I got enough of the white. This is why I kept it simple with colour. Oh, but it's okay. That might be a problem, though. Let me clear out my bag, and then uh, and then we should be okay. There we go, much better, much better. It's clear now. Uh, so let me look for that one, and then put you there. It's upside down? It is, but the... Uh, oh, is that like a separate thing? Okay, so what I can do is copy-paste that as well. Oh, prob it's probably... Actually, it's probably better just building it. I can build it out of the marble as well, which is what I've been using uh, with the white. Although, it hasn't been working super well. Uh, so if I do this kind of thing. Yeah, like that. Just like that. Perfect. Okay, and then have it kind of a bit more broken up. Um, in certain places. Yeah. So that's kind of possibly part of it. That just, that just looks a bit naff, doesn't it? Right, let me have a snooze and we'll have a proper look. For modded Minecraft, it is a bit of a pain trying to sleep. Anyway, there we go. Um, yeah, this is all looking good. I've, like, broken pits up. Everything's, like, fallen off. So there's a bit here that's fallen off of here kind of thing. Oh, I don't know if I like that corner thing. I thought that would look really good. Oh, maybe I need to, like, destroy this part as well then. So if we literally properly, like, just grab, like, a whole bunch of that and, like, get rid of it. Get rid of the white part completely. Here and just have, like... Yeah, it just takes ages, like, trying to chop things out and making them look broken. Why is it not easier to make things look broken? It should be, shouldn't it? You always think, like, it's easier to make things broken, but the way to do it is to build something perfect first and then, and then break it. Which, uh, obviously doesn't save any time. Um, yeah, as long as I'm not ruining something, it's okay. Like, I've got that copied anyway, it's not really a problem. Um, then I guess I'll, like, kind of get rid of this, like top part as well a little bit yeah it's trying to find the right sort of thing well this I don't know I think I'm going to play around with this a bit more I'm going to properly chop this part out a little bit and make it properly broken if I can and uh, I'll be back in a bit
Well, absolutely way too long later, I have uh, sorted this out over here. I want to add some more stuff over here to balance it, because currently there's a lot of stuff over that side. But, oh, it's, it's kind of sad that it's daytime, because this looks good at night. Okay, we'll have to cut and then uh, go to nighttime. But uh, that is a bit of a path, just to give it a little bit of a, you know, a walkway. And I, I, I don't know how much I like this during the day. It doesn't look as good during the day. I think daytime it'll look good when every single thing is like this. Then it'll look okay. But currently, you know, I mean, the yellow sky does help, but it doesn't make it look fantastic. So, yeah, this is all done. I didn't add a door to it. didn't really fancy it. Added some leaves to it. That's what we've done. Basically, we've added leaves. Look at this. Look at this over here. I found the most beautiful block to use for this. Like, look at that. This is a nether rack, and that's nether rack as well. There was a brown version and a red version, and I just used those two. And look, it's just like eaten away at the metal. Because uh, this is meant to be metal, you know, but Minecraft, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't want it to be too, too grungy. I want grunge to come from the, the parts that are breaking away rather than the, the rest of it. Um, because it is a fairground, you know, fairgrounds are bright and colourful, but only when they start deteriorating do they turn a little bit rusty and stuff. We've added a little bit of detail in those two things there, kind of that one's like I've got a plant growing up it. Um, what else is there? Oh, I've added this little thing, the barrier, this is nice, and Decacraft. Uh, what else? I've got trash, trash can over here in Decacraft too. Uh, just, it matched. I, I had to, I had to do it. There's even the red, a red, blue, and a green version as well. Now, uh, this bit here, as you guys will know in the previous clip, uh, was like a bit of a sort of very very low ravine up, up only up to there But I thought you know what how cool it be if I kind of Dug it out and and kind of brought water in I don't know if this is quite the place for it But it's gonna be an easy fix if I need to place the blocks back uh, But I think it'd be super cool if I could like, you know, maybe do some sort of like uh, River thing. I don't know how How much that would be good. I don't know would it cut off the whole area? It would sort of cut off the hmm I don't know, if the water is green, which it is in here, that's poison, which is why that's blue. <laughs> so if I do want water, I actually have to go with that. But, uh, okay, I'm going to do a little bit more digging for this, and uh, by that time it will be night time, and we'll have a proper good look at the Ferris wheel at night time, because trust me, it looks way better. Okay, well, that was a very quick shot there. <laughs> Dang it, Peter. I forgot he was on. <laughs> I mean, of course it's going to be daytime. Um, anyway, yeah, this is that, that that was how it looked at nighttime. Anyway, I'm going to go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what else you think I should add. I'm sure I'll add details here and there. But it's so, so time-consuming, it's ridiculous. But this whole thing is now pretty much done. Enough that I can start work on other things. So leave me ideas for other rides down below. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See ya. When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button.